Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm TJ, the creative behind TJ's Magic Touch. Today's video, I will be showing you the process of designing the cutouts from the Homecoming Mom that I did on my last two live videos. I am going to be using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Since I am using a portrait three to cut, I want to make sure that everything is set up appropriately before I start my project. So I make sure I choose my machine, the portrait, my cutting mat, eight by 12, and I like to be able to see eight and a half by 11 without really seeing it. So to do that, you just adjust the, um, the transparency of it. Some people like to see the full sheet when they design and others don't. Again, up top, I want to point out that I am using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. And the reason that I am stressing so much that I am using Business Edition is because there are two tools that I will be using in this video that are not available in the Basic Edition or the free version of Silhouette Studio software. I will be using Trace by Color as well as Glyphs. These two tools are not available in Basic Edition. Now, what I will say is, you know, I list and link a lot of good information in my description box. So I'll be sure to link some other helpful videos and tutorials if you need help with moving from basic edition to business edition. If you need a more full detailed video of trace by color, or if you by chance need to see this done in a different software such as Cricut Design Space. So be sure to check out my description box below. So over to the right, you have this toasted butterfly. And as you can see, currently the trace by color is available. And if you click on the text box, you see the G for glyphs. However, if I change my view and go into standard or basic edition, you now see that the trace by color is not available and neither are the glyphs. So I just wanted to point out that in order to follow along with this video, you have to use a Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Okay, now with all of that out the way, I'm going to start this tutorial officially. I like to use the drag and drop method. It does not matter what software I am using. I need the ability to drag an image onto the screen and place it where I want it without having to go through a lot of steps of placing an embedded image. So once I drop a picture onto the screen, this is a PNG, I'm going to right click on my mouse and duplicate. Then I'm going to go to the paint palette and this duplicated uh, image I'm going to change to white. Then I'm going to go back to my toasted butterfly. I'm going to left click and highlight in order to select my trace area. I'm going to increase the threshold so that I am tracing everything except for the outer white edge. I will click on trace and detach right click and bring it to the front so now that you see I still have that white image and then I'm going to get rid of the original this is the base for my cutout this white piece and now I'm going to continue breaking down the rest of the image so what I want to do is to trace just the orange and just the blue so with my trace panel already open, I'm going to click on the eyedropper to trace by color. I'm going to start by clicking on the orange and increasing the tolerance. Once I have everything selected that I like, I'm going to click trace, remove my original image, go to the paint palette and choose an orange color. Now, it does not matter what color I choose because this is not going to be a print and cut. I'm actually going to cut out um, the images with cardstock. So the coloring that you see is just for my benefit so that I know what color cardstock to use. 
So again, with my trace panel open, I'm going to click trace by color. I'm going to select the blue and I'm going to click on all areas so that every area in the image that's blue will be selected. And I'm going to adjust the tolerance until I get as much blue selected as I like. Once I have it where I like it, I am going to click on trace and repeat the previous step. I'm going to find a blue in my paint panel. It can be any color blue because again, I'm using navy color cardstock. The blue is just a placeholder for me. But now I have three pieces to make this cutout the way I want it, starting from the PNG and I don't have to worry about the white or like cutting the white or getting the white to show through extra because the white will be my background and I literally trace the blue and the orange on top. So now I'm going to delete the original. I'm going to select all three pieces of this design, move them into my workspace and resize them together. Once I have the file the size that I want it, I separate each piece onto my full workspace by color and I cut backwards. Um, so I cut my base first, I cut my middle and then I cut my top so I organize all of my cutouts that way now for the text cutouts you can either type T on your keyboard or click on the capital A to the left I'm going to type out the word junior and then I'm going to highlight it and up top in the toolbar I am going to choose a font so now I've chosen my font, I'm going to adjust the screen so that you can see it up close. This is a script font, but as you can see, the pieces aren't connected. Um, if you look in between each letter, the J, the U, the N, the I, and the O, you'll see they each have little tails. So we're gonna go over to our textile box and I'm gonna show you, you can change the spacing of each letter, making them closer or making them further apart to where they'll cut in individual pieces. Now I will say this spacing, as long as you see this overlapped like this, this is not going to cut into one piece. To do that, you need to right click and click on weld. Now I want to point out, once you weld it together, it is no longer a text, it is now an image basically. So you lose the ability to adjust the text after this. So you want to make sure that your font is exactly the way you want it before you weld it together. Okay, and now I'm going to get rid of this heart by just clicking on it and deleting it. Now, if it was closer to the eye, you could have chosen to weld it all together, but I wanted to replace it with a megaphone. So I dragged and dropped in a megaphone. I am going to resize it to where I think it looks nice and it looks like a natural dot on the eye I guess is the best word to say where the megaphone looks like it belongs there then I'm gonna color it blue just for my purposes again I'm going to right click first select everything right click and group it all together I will do my offsets and I'll do two typically I do 0.125 um, if I feel like I need more space or less space, I will adjust accordingly, but for just generic offsets, I will do 0.125. Now I'm going to do um, another drag and drop with an image of a cheerleader because Rissa is a cheerleader. But this particular image, the cardstock would have looked 
torn um, had I just left it like this with those tiny pieces or like those little tiny marks on the shoestring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to offset and I'm going to make it a really, really, really tiny offset and then just delete the original so that the silhouette of the cheerleader is still there. You can even see just part of the shoestring so you know that it's a cheerleader. However, my cardstock won't get all torn up. I'm trying to cut into those little bitty pieces and then I'll do the offset all the same. Now I'm going to type out her name. You can click on the capital A to the left or your keyboard shortcut, which is the letter T. This particular font does come with glyphs and I don't want the A on her name to end short like that. So I'm going to go over to my textile panel, click on the G in the middle, which is for glyphs. And I'm going to find an A that I think fits the look that I want the cutout to have. Now when I go into this, I never know fully what I want things to look like. So this is just kind of my process. I did remove the dot on the eye because I wanted to do a cheer bow for the eye. So what I did was I dragged and I dropped in an SVG of a cheer bow, but I do not want these um, really thin pieces to cut out or this really small cut out to happen where I have to deal with such tiny pieces. So after I get it the size I want, I literally just trace over the, um, the SVG, trace the outer edge. I get rid of the original and now I just have the outside shape of the turbo, which is exactly what I wanted. I color it blue to match and then I size it down so that it fits perfectly on the dot of the eye. Now I'm going to click anywhere on the screen, highlight both the name and the bow, right click and group them together. And then I am going to do my offsets, my 0.125, apply, go to my paint palette, choose my second color. And then I am going to do a second offset the same way. Now what I will say is the hesitancy um, I think it kind of showed up is because her flower was white so as I got ready to start cutting I realized I did not want a white layer sitting on top of a white flower so I ended up changing the colors because I wanted her name to sit off of the flower a little bit more than what a white background could give Okay, now I am sending everything to cut again. I want to apologize that I did not um, record the cutting or the assembly because really soon after I assembled everything, I placed them under the weight to prepare for the live that I actually did later this evening in order to make sure that they were ready for the live. So right here you see I changed the background up to where the back of her name would be orange instead of the white and I switched out the middle layer to white. Now I will say I will give you guys a more in-depth tutorial on how I do custom cutouts for homecoming moms. It's just this one ended up tying in with the two lives that I did so I didn't get to give as much detail as I prefer. So here it is because live one and live two did not show you this beautiful mom in all of its glory. Both Rissa and mom absolutely loved it, made my heart happy. I hope I get to work with them again next year. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Check out live one and two for beginning to end. Share because sharing is most definitely caring. And until next time. Bye guys.